Hello, it's Helder here, and today I wanted to go ahead and review these Z Trail shoes by Zero Shoes. I had uh, first uh, became familiar with the company years ago. Uh, they were actually known as uh, Invisible Shoes and came out with these uh, Hiracha type sandals, and they have progressed ever since. Even uh, we're on the uh, show Shark Tank, uh, pitching their idea, and uh, they're pretty good to go. So uh, stick around and I'll go over a bit about these Z-Trail Zero shoes. Now before I go into more detail or specific detail on these uh, Z-Trail Zero shoes, I wanted to share a little bit of uh, my story on why I prefer uh, minimalist running shoes and the minimalist approach um, as opposed to standard running shoes. Uh, those of you that are familiar with my story, uh, in the Marine Corps, uh, had some injuries. I'm actually a service-connected disabled veteran. One of the injuries that I have is in my right knee. I have no ACL nor meniscus. Uh, and going to every doctor, every specialist, uh, every guru, just basically telling me that I either had to have surgery, get on pain meds, uh, take a ligament out of a dead body, right, out of a cadaver, put it in my right knee, and all of these options really uh, did not attract me one bit. Um, started delving, uh, learning different things, uh, people that had worse injuries than I did and similar injuries than I did. And there were various uh, training methods that I was turned on to. And uh, one of the overall principles was to try to stick with uh, the minimalist approach. So as I began to learn more about the uh, minimalist and uh, barefoot approach, it really wasn't that foreign to me. I came from a martial art background, uh, started young in my teens as a, uh, as a kid, and we were always barefoot in a dojo. So to me, it was just like, okay, well, you know what? I can give it a shot. As I started delving more and trying to learn a little bit more, uh, because all I really focused on before that was getting the coolest uh, shoes that were out there with the advertisement and, you know, spending hundreds of dollars on them because they were going to do the work for me, right? That's what the marketing and that's what Madison Avenue was telling me. So I'd go out there and buy these uh, shoes, okay, that would have all sorts of technology. And as I began, began to think about it, once again, remember, I'm just a layperson here. So the only thing that I can give you is my experience. Uh, you want to get the science, you're going to have to go somewhere else. But uh, just thinking about it here uh, with this heel, I'm basically asking the shoe to do the work for me, as opposed to my muscles and tendons and, and ligaments all working together and getting the proper feedback from the ground. So this really started to, you know, the, just the more I thought about it, I'm just like, you know what, this makes sense. All these gels and all this other stuff are really trying to mimic what my ligaments should be doing. No wonder I lost them. You know, they were not getting used or used incorrectly and uh, being masked. And then I would switch from these shoes to another pair of shoes for work and they'd have some kind of heel on them and whatever the case may be. And then wearing combat boots and you know you you couple all this stuff together and uh, it's no wonder that so many of us have issues with our knees and with our backs and uh, being able to go ahead and get into that uh, minimalist approach really changed my life it kind of gave my life back to me I was able to compete in the mudder races uh, using minimalist footwear I was able to complete the New York City Marathon uh, with the minimalist footwear once again it's not about bragging right Thousands of people have done that, but the fact that I was told that I could probably be hobbling around the rest of my life And now I'm able to do that. You know what? There's something to this and that's why I'm kind of passionate about it And I want to go ahead and share more information about this particular sandal with you That'll uh, hopefully help you either from Experiencing what I experiencing and getting these injuries right or just maxing out maxing out your performance and learning before Those injuries occur, which is really the goal. So as I started stating earlier the uh, first pair of zero shoes that I received uh, to review were these uh, shoes here. And basically they're Hiracha sandals, which are inspired by the uh, Tarahumara Indians, all right, a tribe. And what they were basically doing is getting a, a piece of uh, tire track, right? Getting some string or some rope, you know, tying it up together. But the difference is that these people were running hundreds of miles, okay, these ultra marathons. And of course, you know, sitting there and, uh, trying to figure out, I guess, like, well, what's their secret and is this going to help us? It started inspiring other, um, let's say, uh, non Tara Humara uh, Indian tribe participants to say, you know what, let's give this a try uh, because these people are having this incredible success. Granted, it's been, you know, hundreds of years that they've been living this, but if this could help us, uh, we're gonna, we'll go ahead and give it a try. And sure enough, it kind of inspired a movement, uh, even in the book uh, Born to Run by Christopher McDougall, which, uh, you know, really kind of uh, started and, and brought it to light uh, more into mainstream. And uh, from there, these invisible shoes were uh, improved upon 
and uh, it's what we have today. Uh, hired a couple of uh, high-end engineers and came up with this really cool uh, Z-Trail sandal that uh, pretty much uh, addresses a lot of the needs that uh, people were uh, asking about. First of all, even the look. All right, I don't want to get into too much detail, but this might be just a little bit too much of a minimalist, minimalist approach to people. And being that it's something that's really working on your health, uh, the, I, I really appreciate that um, Zero Shoes went ahead and made these look more like a uh, standard sandal. So now you're getting the look that's going to appeal more to the masses and at the same time affecting the masses' health. Uh, where before they might have not given it a try because uh, they didn't like the way these look. So the, fi the fact that they addressed that just with the look, which uh, you know I definitely appreciate because now even for my own clients, it'll be a lot easier uh, to get them even part-time to wear something like this um, as opposed to uh, standard shoes that we spoke about uh, or the uh, high heels or snow tires I as I refer to them sometimes because you could just barrel around mindlessly and not pay attention to anything and you know what, that's not really gonna help you. It's not gonna help your experience out there in nature. It's certainly not gonna help you tactically by not being aware of your environment and situational awareness and uh, just overall health, right? So one little change can really affect you in uh, many different ways and we're looking for that when it comes to efficiency. So you can tell here that these uh, Zero Shoes basically have about uh, three layers here. So we have the nice little foam part up on top to make it uh, nice and comfortable. And then we have uh, an outer layer here, okay? So this black part here that you could tell is really where we're applying pressure um, while we're, uh, we're running, all right? With, uh, let's say, proper form, or these definitely help you get your proper form. Um, and then in beneath, uh, underneath, we have the other layer, which really just adds to the flexibility, all right? Now, those of us that are always worried about what we're gonna keep in our pack, so you might hike with these, you might choose not to hike with these, and might wanna put these uh, on at base camp to uh, give your feet a break. So look how these just roll up, all right, to be able to stuff anywhere in your pack. Now that's pretty impressive, all right, that's something that you don't have to worry about with weight or anything like that. I mean, they weigh virtually nothing. Uh, as usual, I'll put all the specs and uh, a lot more detail in the blog post, so make sure you check that out. And uh, just giving you a lot of different reasons, all right? And as far as uh, putting these uh, shoes on, uh, very, very simple, all right? It's just a matter of undoing, this Velcro here, right? And just kind of just slipping it on, nice and simple. And then you could just cinch it all back. And the beauty about it is that you have all different areas that you can go ahead and tighten up. So it gives you a perfect fit uh, to you, okay? And there's all different ways to measure your foot. Uh, if you decide to uh, go ahead and purchase these, uh, zeroshoes.com has all sorts of uh, templates and things like that where you can measure it. So you get a perfect fit. Uh, and also have a lot of different color choices. They also come with a 5,000 mile warranty. All right, uh, most running shoes are given out about 200, 300 uh, miles. So they're backing it up with 5,000 miles. So that's pretty impressive. Kind of tells you what you're getting here and the type of quality that you're getting uh, when a, a, you know, a vendor or manufacturer decides to put that type of warranty on it. Uh, so once again, you know, the price point for what you're getting, it's really hard to beat. So in uh, summing up this review, if you are looking for a shoe, that'll uh, benefit you as far as comfort and your health, you might wanna look into these. Uh, if you're looking for something that you could easily roll up, throw in your pack, almost not even think about it and leave them in there from when you need them, once again, perfect choice. Also for traveling, fitting your suitcase, carry on. We're always worried about weight uh, these days because of the airline and all their restrictions. Uh, so these type of things, if uh, it's something that you feel would benefit you and benefit your lifestyle, definitely take a look at these uh, Z-Trail uh, Zero Shoes. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Once again, this is Helder. I hope that you enjoyed this review.